Have you ever been asleep and then wondered to yourself, what if I could be talking to someone else right now while you were sleeping? Well, I came across a TikTok on my feed that was discussing the possibility of telepathic communication while you're sleeping. And I thought I would look it up online just to find some more information about this. And while sleeping and telepathically communicating does sound cool, it's not possible. Not in the slightest. Not in your wildest dream would you be telepathically communicating with somebody. Yet we still have some hardcore believers out there publishing news research about this. People will keep trying to make that happen for us. So let's just take a look at the research they've been doing. The reason I'm here is that while I was at work, my fiance told me that there was some telepathic REM sleep that's being studied right now and it's like the future of sleep so i'm just gonna go look for it telepathic rem sleep 1968 this isn't what i'm looking for 2021 can i get something recent what is this one? Oh my god look at these numbers what does any of this mean? Medium the unexplained. The PBS one is probably a, the more accurate. Communication while sleeping has found its place in myths, legends, and cultural narratives. Certain symbols and archetypes manifested in dreams are shared among all humans therefore indicating a collective psychic dimension where a telepathic communication might occur. I think someone's just hoping way too hard. There's got to be a million things in the world that we just all would like. If you, if, I, if you were imagining a circle, you would imagine a circle. Like, other people who are also seeing the circle wouldn't go... You're reading my mind now. Like, if you had the same dream as somebody, it wouldn't be reading their mind. To understand dream telepathy, it's essential to grasp the central role of dreams in this phenomenon. They are indeed heightened creativity and the emergence of symbols and metaphors. This altered state of mind might be conductive, conducive to telepathic communication. In this state, our minds are open to receiving information that may not be accessible through regular sensory perception. This idea aligns with Jung's concept of collective unconscious, perhaps suggesting that dreams tap into a shared reservoir of human experiences, emotions, and archetypes. It's because we all live on the same earth, man. One notable approach involves a sender who attempts to transmit an image or message to a sleeping receiver. The person receiving the message then reports their dreams upon awakening. These reports are later compared to the sender's intended message to determine any potential correlation. Results from these experiments have been mixed. Oh, I have no doubt about that. Meanwhile, with some studies reporting statistically significant connections between the sender's intentions and the receiver's dreams... Oh, dude, I read that wrong. Meanwhile, with some studies reporting, wait, they wrote that wrong. However, the overall scientific consensus remains uncertain, primarily due to the complex and multifaceted nature of dream telepathy. This is something that you will never be able to prove. The challenge lies in establishing the existence of a causal relationship between the sender's thoughts and the receiver's dreams, therefore also controlling for variables such as chance, expectation, and psychological bias, obviously driven by the tantalizing prospect of a hidden channel of communication. I think we all hope for that a little too hard. They're not giving anything. This is just a nothing burger. Yeah, there's nothing here. So basically, what they did was had someone go to sleep and then tell one guy in the other room to think about something really hard and then think about giving it to them really hard. That's horrible to say. They told this guy to go in his room 
Think really hard. Imagine something. And now imagine them imagining it while they're asleep. And do that for an hour. And then when they wake up, we'll ask them, what did you see? And the results were very mixed because nobody saw that shit. Nobody saw or heard a thing because it's just not possible. Let's see what this one from 2023 was. This one's like exactly a year ago. This is something a little bit more real. Scientists have shown that people can hear and understand others while asleep and respond to them by contracting their facial muscles. In a new breakthrough study that reimagines our understanding of the brain's mechanisms during various stages of sleep. In the study, researchers recruited 22 people without sleep disorders and 27 patients with narcolepsy. Most of the participants, whether narcoleptic or not, responded correctly to verbal stimuli while remaining asleep. Hey! Oh! Yeah, so there's no big breakthroughs in sleep here. I can just imagine a bunch of scientists in a room poking each other as they sleep and then asking later, did you, did you feel me poke you? Did you get poked in your dream? And they're like, why, yes, I did. I did get poked in my dream. Thank you for asking. I mean, how could you know? Probably the most the real thing that you can get from sleep is, well, first of all, rest. And secondly, maybe insight to what's going on in your head. What you're not going to be able to do is for some reason have a conversation with someone while you're asleep. That's just not going to happen. There's no use for it. I can't imagine why you would want to be chatting while you're sleeping anyway. Aren't you supposed to be sleeping? Mainstream scientific consensus rejects the dream telepathy as a real phenomenon. Well, there you have it. Also, if you're still here at the end... Congratulations, I super appreciate you. If you're looking for more content uh, next week from when this video posts, I'll be taking a little break, maybe like two or three days. But then I'll hop right back on there. Anyway, I hope you have a great day and I'll see you later.